everyone. Uh, I'm Amy. I'm the head of Emerging Technology. Uh, today, we're very excited to have our annual Mini Maker Fair. This is our eighth year doing the annual Mini Maker Fair, and we have a lot of students like who are creators, who are innovators, who are entrepreneurs. So they're here to showcase their makings. Hi, my name is Lindsay, and I sew in quilts. And this is my sister Starlet, and she crochets. So yeah, I made some reversible tote bags and um, I made these two quilts recently and um, I've made other things like bucket hats and just like some CDs, make some sort of like scrapbooking but for digital. And so um, this is my dragon that I made and the bunny and a bee and I made this for my mom but I have it on display today and these are the bouquets I made for to sell today. And then I made these um, teacups. I just filled it with um, wax and made a candle. I've been quilting for, um, let's see here, uh, four years. I started during the pandemic. I'm doing it more for myself. It's not a business thing. It's just something that I like to do in my spare time. A lot of them make jewelry, make art, uh, make uh, plants. Like a lot of them have a lot of wonderful things. Okay, hi, I'm from Irene's Greens, Irene Day here and I do succulent arrangements straight from my heart to your home. I've got some nice affordable arrangements so you can't beat it. Plus it's just, you know, eco-friendly because the water, you don't need hardly any water, water once a week, that's it. I've probably been doing it for about three years now and I just love it. I'm kind of self-trained, YouTube trained. I can't even get over the stuff that comes out of, from these, it's not me though, <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Shannon Capaldi. I'm the Assistant Vice President for Strategy at the University of Laverne. And I've partnered with Amy here to expand the Mini Maker Fair to include the Innovation Block Party. Uh, we wanted to take the opportunity to showcase all the great academic work that our faculty and students are doing. So we have a poster walk going on. And then later this afternoon from one to three, we have faculty presenting on how they're using innovative technologies in their classrooms and in their field work. Fly up the drone, get a picture of that plot of land, and then use a software to measure things like outlining the canopy sizes. We can get like an average of like tree size in a plot or the, um, the distance between trees. We were able to find like different relationships between the understory and landscape elements. So we were, we're kind of hoping to give that information to the, the, pro the program that we partnered with so that they can use it to predict um, areas of high soil carbon instead of just like going in there and digging a soil mm -hmm. sample yeah. Yeah. That's what we had to, to do lab. That. It's That's so an expensive measure of like just like an extra step like track. Yeah. It, was like, yeah, it helps with forest conservation. Oh. It makes it yeah. easier for everybody. So wow. we partnered with the Climate Thank Action you. Reserve. They, um, big companies can buy carbon stocks through them. To, they're basically paying to conserve an area of forest to offset their carbon footprint. Recidivism was a big thing was because it's the sense is that a lot of people think that once people are criminals, they'll tend to go back to being criminals in the first place. So then we want to see a gender difference. And usually females would answer that, no, uh, these people are going to be okay because of their record. They're going to come back to society. They're going to be integrated. Uh, males in general was like, no, criminals are criminals. It's a very black and white thing. Uh, we thought there would be a, uh, a correlation or a interaction with uh, gender and if people within the family were criminals in the first place and that didn't seem to matter so even if uh, in the family they knew someone that did something wrong they were just the females would still be like oh yeah no they're still redeemable and even if uh, men knew someone in their family that went uh, in uh, in jail or anything they're still be like no they're still gonna become criminals even when they go out they're gonna come back in again anyways the Maker Fair has been going on for eight years. This is the first year of the Innovation Block Party. In order to attract everybody, <laughs> like we have food, which is the most important thing. We have music. We're going to be also having performance uh, from yeah. a band. So uh, we have a lot of activity going on. If we're going to have a block party, you got to have food and music.